Good morning everyone. Today we catch us here at Kingfisher again. We're going to be talking about one of our product lines, probably probably one of the most popular product lines we got. If you are unaware of these products, haven't come across these products, where have you been? You've been living under a rock somewhere. This is probably, um, if you haven't seen these before, uh, welcome to the best cooler boxes you will ever come across. Of course we're talking about the Safari Chillers. Now, the range has grown from, previously we just used to do just a single fiberglass box, now it's grown to a multiple, um, quite a few different lines and different styles of cooler boxes. We have done separate videos on individual boxes themselves, but now this is just going to be a general talk about the whole range itself and all the accessories and things that come along with it. So, to start us off, we're going to be, this is a little demo cooler. Now, we've done a video on this, the link will be in the description at the bottom. It's the little kidney box itself. Basically, this is the, the little baby of the unit. Um, we're not going to do too much detail on these at the moment. So, excuse me, basically just fits on your, on your waist. Uh, on the belt on the side like that, clips in everything, the description or the, will have the actual video of itself if you want more details on that. That is the baby, put him safely over there. Then we move on to the two ranges, two main ranges themselves. Now, I'm going to block it out a little bit. This is the fiberglass range. Basically what that means is the, dis the differentiation between the two as I'll show you now. The fiberglass has a fiberglass lid very very distinctive nothing too too difficult about that they're all much for muchness now i'm going to keep them just on the side there and then we move to the most popular of the range in the small sizes the fisherman now fisherman has got this nylon lid on the top now the big benefit of that is that the nylon is more cut resistant this has got the gel coat on top so if you cut on this you do eventually start chipping it off and scratching it and basically just making it look terrible. Now, these are both 12 liters. It's probably the most popular size for fishermen. Um, fits nicely on top of your H-frame and uh, just sits very nicely, carries enough bait, things like that. Now, your lids are not interchangeable. That's the one thing we get asked quite a lot. I've lost my lid, can I replace it with a nylon lid if I had a fiberglass lid? It's not designed to be interchangeable. Um, so the lids aren't sold to be swapped around. Obviously, you, you might get a luck and it sort of fits. Each box is made for each lid, so it's kind of designed to be set up like that. But you can buy replacement lids that are available. So if you do lose your lid, unfortunately that does happen. It falls off or gets blown off the back of a bucky or something like that. You can buy just the lid itself. Now these obviously come in a, a variety of different sizes from baby little 4 liters all the way up to 85s. Now, the Fisherman doesn't go that big. I think the 25 is the biggest we do in the Fisherman. Just because of uh, strength of the lid and things like that, as soon as you start getting too big, it's just awkward and you're not going to be carrying an 85 liter lid to be chopping on the top. So 25 is the biggest we do in there. This guy goes all the way up to 85 and then you get double latches on the front and all sort of unique little features. Um, in terms of keeping stuff cold and things like that, we've had ice in these things for a whole weekend. So they are very, very good insulators um, and they just keep your bait nice and frozen and everything. Perfect, perfect for your everyday angler. Now, move those out of the way. We do the final on the range. This guy nearly flew off when I picked him up, nearly hit the roof. This is the light series. Now, the light doesn't have that thick coating on the outside. So it is a bit more susceptible to bumps and dings, but it's designed for the guy that's going to be moving very far, walking long distances and things like that. It's incredibly light. The difference in weight is, is quite substantial. Now, they do a few different sizes, um, 8, 12 and 18. And those are sort of the most popular um, average fishing sizes. They are available in both of the other ranges as well. Obviously this is just designed to be very, very light, nice to move around um, and yeah, as you mentioned, very easy to carry. Now on top of that, they, they do do quite a few accessories in the Safari Chiller range. We've got a chill pack, 
a little frozen um, ice brick that you can use. Much like most of the other ice bricks, obviously just a Safari Tour brand designed to fit in the boxes very nicely. Just a very nice thing to have. We've also done a bag that's made by Teza, which is our company upstairs, or Teza, depending on your pronunciation, potato, potato. And that fits the eight liter box perfectly in there, holds it nicely. Um, we've done a video on it, or you've seen myself and Ray fishing with them before. It fits there beautifully, just sits, sits nicely in that. And then the brand new spanking, I say spanking, not for spanking, but the brand new spanking edition is the foam insert. Now this is a foam divider, as it says, nothing fancy about it, but what it does for your box is well beyond <clears throat> just being a foam sort of insert. They do them in two different sizes. Now the footprint, this is the bigger version, fits on the 18 and uh, 10 litre units. The footprints are the same in those boxes, just the height changes. And then also for the, we do one for the 12 and the 8 litre. That obviously fits those two boxes very nicely. Now, what this does, let's use this as an example. You've got your cooler box, you've got, you're gonna go fish the whole day. Now you've got bait that you wanna use in the evening for catching a cob, you've got your chocker, and then you've got bait that you want to use during the day for catching your bronze ring, you've got your prawns. Now, if you have, what we used to do is pack everything in, put newspaper on top, and then you've got your cool drink on top of that and your bait knife and stuff. Now when you go unpack your prawns, you've now unpacked your chocker as well, because now everything's sort of mixed up. Your chocker defrosts. By the time it comes to fishing for cob in the evening, your chocker has gone soft. It's been sitting in it uh, uh, like that for the whole day and it's just not in its optimum condition. What this does, if you're gonna go fish whole day into the night, next day even, you've now got your divider, obviously this doesn't fit the size of cooler box, but you know what I'm talking about. You put your chocker in the bottom, you put your Safari Chiller ice brick, you put your divider in. Now, you've got a sealed little unit in the bottom here, that's sitting with this on top as a lid. It keeps that cold right there at the bottom. And then you've got all your other bait that you pack in on top. Nice, easy handle, simplistic, but, but very easy to use. Easy to pull up. You've got your prawn on top, chocolate at the bottom, or whatever you, you've chosen to mix up. Red eye, for example, is another, it's probably a better example if you've got the red eyes and they go soft, they become a bit mushy, very difficult to use, but a bit more uh, explain, explanatory than your chocker. So you've got that at the bottom, you've got your foam divider, and you've got your other stuff on top. So now you get to use the stuff on top, and then when you come to opening, opening your box for the second time at the bottom, all that stuff is still frozen, rock hard, and in its perfect condition ready to use. So now you get the little divider, they cheap as chips, you just split it, well chips have now become expensive, but cheaper than chips, and you get to split your box up in two different units, you get two cooler boxes literally for the price of one, and it allows you to plan your trips a lot better, because now you can split your bait up so that not everything's all mixed in like that. Like I said, they're two different sizes. There's the 18 and 10 liter, and then there's the 12 and the 8 liter. So there's one for both both of those. They're simple, you can get them, pick them up at any of our, your leading tackle stores, but obviously they are distributed by our wholesale units, so for wholesale inquiries, you can go through them. They can be stocked in any shop. And yeah, it's one of those things that really adds to what was a fantastic cooler box, just lifts it up to the next level now, because now you're able to split it up like that. So yeah, Safari Chiller range. Uh, any queries, comments, put them in the bottom there. Like, share, and uh, thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.